welcome to vlog number 20. What are we getting up to? Let's see, I'm on my way to uh, Cheshire to go and see Shane Lynch for his, um, his TV show that he's got called Dream Machine. So I'm the guest, I'm this week's guest on it. And uh, so yeah, I think he's going to just interview me and I think I've got, I might have to shoot the basketball hoop. I think they've got like a thing on there where every guest has to shoot the hoop. I fucking shit the basketball. But uh, it should be fun. Let's wait and see uh, what happens. But um, you can see uh, Litchie again. Uh, I thought he was in London. Well, I got wrong. Got it proper wrong. So yeah, I've got to go four hours up here to Cheshire, four hours back in the morning uh, because we've got some training on tomorrow and a few other bits and bobs and plus I'm doing a podcast with Dink and uh, Matt Stocks that's going to go out on Christmas Day so that's what's happening this week happy days see you in Chester for a beer and a chat with Mr Lynch
Good to uh, catch up with Shane and Nathan on uh, Dream Machine last night. They got a nice little, uh, nice little set up there. It's nice to see um, Shane's cars as well. I've seen them on Instagram quite a bit, socials and stuff, but I've never actually seen them in real life with that black Rolls Royce. It's just absolutely stunning. And he's got that up for grabs as well. You can just buy a ticket and fingers crossed you win. And, uh, Right, right next to one of my favourite cars, the Lamborghini Diablo. Uh, I just want them to drive the things, but I don't think you trust me enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a good night, good laugh. Um, hell of a driver, mine to Cheshire. So now we're going to drive all the way back to Newport because they're going to go and visit Date and Matt Stocks. And Matt Stocks is actually filming a podcast for me in Date, so it's going to be like a double end of. Oh, Double ender! <laughs> Alright! Fancy a double ender date? Anyway, uh, it's gonna be a double ended. <laughs> double ended podcast for Christmas Day! So I'm gonna sit down with him and we're gonna have a chat with Matt Stocks. No doubt we'll have a laugh. Um, but today was, I mean, today was a massive training day for me. I was meant to do my, I was gonna do my first four. 60 minute rowing sessions so there'll be two in the morning two in the afternoon uh, but Whittle Whittle texted me last night actually and said oh big training day tomorrow uh, I, just, I just woke up in the morning and I was like well, I'm still in Cheshire so uh, I'll see what I can do later anyway I'll, I'll do, what I, do what I can by the time I get home it's going to be about 5, 6 o'clock in the evening so yeah all good Happy days, let's go and see uh, my good mate Date! And I uh, pinch his ass. Ooh, say that. Date! Fuck's sake, I'm trying to order food, you prick! Get out of here! Come on! I can't go in there, right, because I gotta have a mask, so I'm trying to ask the food through the door. And this dickhead's been touching me. Get! <laughs> Hey, your ass is gone! I know, don't you? I'm on a diet. Where's Stocks? It's not on that train. Get in the back. What the way, dude? Get him in! The company be treating you like this. Chocolate brownies. It's not the chocolate brownies, it's dog plot. It's not chocolate brownies. I said joking. Egg! Oh. <laughs> As we sit here on Christmas Eve on you know December the twenty fourth, wink wink, two thousand and twenty, your two episodes are still the most downloaded and listened to episodes in the history of my show above John Lydon, Gene Simmons, Tommy Lee, Rob Halford, Sean Ryder, Alan McGee, Stephen Gray, and the list goes on. Your two episodes are still number one and two. Sadly, Pritch is still one day, and you still are. Oh, I am <laughs> fucking amazing. <laughs> oh, hey, give me a kiss, dude. <laughs> oh, just pretend. <laughs> it's Christmas! Yeah. <laughs> you should have come earlier. I actually feel like it's fucking Christmas now. <laughs> oh, God, dude, I'm missing out. <laughs> So you probably guessed from the voices that you've heard and the music that you've heard, this is a very special edition of Life in the Stocks. <laughs> it's Christmas! It's a Christmas special. I bet even for an agency like that, this request was quite out of the ordinary. Uh, you, you, 
I mean, yeah, they it, probably it, it, had it all, but I mean, to say you're going to get <laughs> handcuffed to a member of Dirty Sanchez right after his live show in front of 400 people, that's pretty out there as far as requests go. I was like, that, that, does that dude know what he's getting himself in for? He's un- you're handcuffing yourself to me. And he was going to pretend to be like a fan, which he did. Abs- Greg, you did it absolutely professionally. Nailed it. You literally just got up to him and just went whack with a handcuff on and then I just went, <laughs> yes! Well, I, I just I just saw his face. Oh, my God. All and night. I went, yep, all night. I'm like, what the fuck? He just he rocked up and I was like, no way, this guy's fucking sick. And I was like, no way, what's that going to do? Put my hand up to shake his hand because I was generally stoked. And fucking whap, a fucking handcuff went straight on me and he went, looked at you, you'd have the key within a split second, then swallowed the fucking key at the meet and greet, and went, a lucky day, he's with you all fucking night. So, I, I mean, I was my fucking stag do, um, which I kind of thought, yeah, well, all right, well, this is going to go a bit weird for him straight away. Well, we had an after party afterwards, and he was strapped to you for the entire duration of that. It was so, it was so funny, man, just just constantly seeing Dick, well, you couldn't run away, you couldn't do nothing, you were just constantly attached to Greg. Like, every time he went for a pee, you had to take Greg with him. If Greg wanted to pee, he had to go with Greg. Well, didn't Amy, your That's wife, cool. say at that point, like, if you bring him home, it's over. <laughs> he gets not asleep in the half bed. He's not a fucking... Oh, I don't know. I've swore again. Fuck well, that, you can make... It's life in the stocks. It's oh, not right. the BBC. You can swear on this. On tap on John's face! <laughs> 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 Go on, bring the mince pies out! Way. Right, yeah. Put the Yule log up your ass like Joycey would! Way. <laughs> Poo on my shoe! What, what was you thinking about just then? I was looking at that a bit and I thought, I don't know, it's mm. nice colour. Right, what is it? Oh, it's little m- mummy thing, is it? A lady Guadalupe. <laughs> what what are those mummy things? I got that from Venice Beach in California. Um, you were there, I bought it. I bought a skull tonight. Yeah, I yeah. sleep with the element. I yeah, see. so he was thinking, he was looking at that in the middle of a podcast, thinking, that's oh, nice, Colour. <laughs> and this is what happens when we do live whilst things. Whilst, whilst we're in the middle of a fucking podcast. <laughs> yeah. oh, I, can't, I, I can't fucking help myself. I'm on a boat in the middle of nowhere, far away from fucking humans, fucking TV. TV a, on the rowboat. That's a, fuck, a fucking bollocks of just day to day life. Are you and, away from the and TV? Just, yeah, and just, you're just on a boat with Mother Nature, surrounded by. See, which is fun. and actually the, the closest people to us are the people on the on the, the space station. When you're in the middle of the Atlantic, and that's, yeah. that's fast. Can I ask you a question? But I just can't wait. Though. Can, Can I ask I you a serious question? Well, all right. So prior to you saying yes to taking on this rowing the Atlantic challenge, yeah, yeah. what uh, experience do you have sailing and rowing at sea, or on a river, or in a lake? Nothing. <laughs> There we go. Mr. 50 fucking. I missed the 50 50. There you go. Oh, look, John Louis. Oh, that's another favourite uh, Christmas song. <laughs> look at his little face. <laughs> this this song just reminds me of Christmas. As soon as, like, you know, when you're driving in the car and it's on the radio, it's like, yep, yeah, it's Christmas. Good yeah, jog on, Chris, Ria. Step aside. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, thank you for joining me for episode 200 of Life in the Stocks. We'll see how many listens this does. Congrats! <laughs> Maybe we could get a joint first place between the pair of you. You can share the title. <laughs> Hello, mate! <laughs>